Hello everyone, FunshineX here. Welcome back to Let's Play Space Engineers with Planets, Episode 3. Last time at the very end, we flipped the ship. Well, turns out it didn't do any damage to it, which is amazing. And by using some creative um, placement of atmospheric thrusters, I was able to put them on one side of the ship and flip it over. And I didn't get footage of it, but if I flip the car again, maybe I'll show it. Um, right now, we are out on a little drive looking for ores. Um, you need to look for dark spots, and as I was coming over here to explore, I found this dark spot on the ice itself. It's the only dark spot I've seen so far, so let's, uh, let's get in here and check it out. Um, I haven't flipped again since that first flip, um, mainly by limiting my speed. You can see my max speed is 77, maybe 80k right now, k an hour. Um... So it seems to be about the max speed I can go, and I just don't take any sharp turns. Oh, wow, we found uranium. This is a uranium node. That is awesome news. We don't have to use solar as long as I thought we were going to do. All right, so the best way to mine these things, you can see they're way down underground, like 40 meters down. Just keep driving around until you get the lowest number. Um, so like right here is 37. It should be right under me. So we'll go ahead and get out here. And, oops, I forgot to parking brake. Parking brake. Nope, don't roll away. Parking brake. There we go. All right, so get our drill. We knew it was somewhere right about here, so make sure you crouch by hitting whatever your crouch key is, and then just right-click. Drill straight down towards wherever the thing is. That way you, uh, yeah, you'll be fine. <laughs> it won't create any uh, um, big boulders that we're going to, like, this smash you. Um, I know drilling straight down sometimes I... If I'm actually producing the ore by left clicking. Am I shifting here? I'm even having problems shifting today. Or crouching here. Um, yeah, if I drilled straight down while producing boulders, I've, they've like landed on top of me and killed me. <laughs> this game likes to kill me a lot just for random reasons. I, I think I've died two more times just jumping around the car f for s who knows what reason. All right, so the the color has changed. Even though it says it's 18 more meters, I think that's the center of the node. And the fact we already found the node 18 meters away, that means that this thing's like 36 meters of ore. Wow. Okay, so we're gonna get probably get a bunch of ice along with it. Um, oh, wait. Maybe there's two bands because it's already back to ice. I have noticed a lot of the ores um, are in these really th thin strips and so you just kind of follow them which is I know it's realistic right it's like a vein I think it's good but you know a lot of the planetary ores at least are not those big old circles like you're used to in the atmosphere so best to just kind of chisel around just one at a you know one block at a time so you can target really where the the ore is and we're getting a good mix of uranium and ice and we don't really need the ice, but looks like about it for this direction. I'll go ahead and pick up most of the stuff if I get inventory full like that. Then I can just come over here where I'm not picking up anymore. Hit K. Drop the ice into here. I'm going to need to go back into my ship. I forgot I had so much junk on me um, when I was trying to repair or I mean flip the thing over. I brought a lot of materials to put thrusters on. Alright, so we're already full. How do we get back out? Where is our... There's our hole. <laughs> um, energy, hydrogen. We could probably fly out, but let's let's create a uh, a ramp. So probably from right here, so we're not wasting any uranium. We'll just go ahead and right click and kind of aim up, and it should make a nice little ramp for us as we go. It's gonna take a while to get up there because obviously we're not going straight up and down. We're making an angle, Pythagoras and all that kind of stuff. But eventually we should reach the surface. I just hope I don't drill the underneath my car and cause it to fall in a hole. <laughs> you really start like taking care of your vehicles down here. I mean in space they just kind of fly around. If you bump something you just repair it. But <laughs> down here with gravity you really got to be careful that you don't tip the thing over or crash it or die you know thousands of meters from home. Yeah, it's, it's kind of a pain. All right, how is our ramp looking? Are we even approaching the surface? It appears that way. Maybe I'm not aiming up quite enough. Let's aim up more. Oh, surface, where art thou? <laughs> Any day now. Let's aim even more up. There we go. Made the surface. 
Cool. So now we have a nice ramp to get in there. How far away did we end up? Oh, quite a ways. <laughs> let's go over here. Um, let's get off of Crouch so we can actually run and drop a bunch of this stuff off. Then we'll head back down there and get a little bit more. Um, we can see if there's any other ores. Sometimes in these dark surfaces, not it's not all a single ore. Um, and the fact that this thing is so big... I mean, look how, oh, look how big the thing is compared to me. Yeah, we've seen the Uranium node, but that's probably a node over that direction. Maybe There's probably like five different nodes in here, and they're kind of bleeding together, which is awesome. Okay. So, yeah, anyway, back in here, let's just drop this stuff all off. I'm not having the same lag issues with double-clicking on stuff that I was before. I don't know why that's gone away. Um, they haven't released any updates. Updates should be tomorrow or the next day. Whoa, whoa, I might die. Oh, just a little bit of damage. <laughs> um, sometimes you can't, like, get access to them. I found crouching down seems to get a little bit more accurate with these ores. Hey, get out of the way. Get out of the way, I need that one. No? I need... So much for accuracy, right? Okay. So we got more over here. Whoa, through the world. Um, but that's probably one of the next things we want to make is some kind of um, ship that can actually mine. And I'm kind of debating on what I want to do. Do I want to make like a flying ship that will just kind of orient itself straight down and just dig? Or do I want to make a buggy that has a big drill on the front and almost make a, uh, a tunnel down? Kind of like I just did right there make a big tunnel that comes down but it, I don't know or the other way I could make a stationary platform um, well it would be a vehicle but it would look like a platform that would like have a big drill attached to it to a piston or something and then I could like move up and down to drill down to it I'd have to find a way to extend a piston up to 40 meters because that's how far something like the max distance some of these nodes are um, but yeah let me know in the comments what you guys think we should do as far as um, as far as a, a mining vehicle. Um, I know a lot of people have said, you know, why are you starting on Earth? It's kind of boring. Uh, or, I mean, it's like every other game. And that's true. The Earth is, you know, just kind of... It's more here to get our feet wet. You know, it's very easy because we don't have to worry about oxygen. We don't have to worry about aliens attacking us. Any of that kind of stuff. So, that's why I did pick to start on Earth. Um, but I definitely plan to get to the other planets as soon as possible. One thing that Space Engineers doesn't have that Empyrean has quite a bit, and you'll hear me comparing the two um, often, is progression. So like Empyrean, you start on one planet, but you can only get certain ores, and if you want the others, you have to you know, go to the other planets um, to explore, that kind of thing. Uh, and if you want to like upgrade stuff, you know, they have a whole leveling system now, which I haven't really shown on camera, but... It's in there. All right, parking brake off. Let's not run over our thing. Definitely lots of glitches with shadows in, in the latest updates here. Hopefully they get those fixed. All right, what else we have? We got magnesium. Okay, more uranium over here. All right, so this... Oh, and we got a silicon node. Sweet. All right, I can do a little bit of that action. 19, that seems like the lowest right here. So we will put parking brake on and hop on out. And we'll do the same thing here with the silicon. Much nicer that it's not as far down. Although that uranium wasn't 20 meters like it said it was. Oh, not crouched. I think they have acknowledged that the drill is bugged um, with their reduction of the uh, the size or whatever, the, the range that it drills from. That's why you have to crouch, basically. So, um, yeah, hopefully they get that fixed. You don't have to crouch anymore. Yep, but there's our silicon. Cool. So we've got silicon, magnesium, and uranium here. Silicon's really the only one I truly need to start building stuff. You know, uranium I can I couldn't rely on solar power for quite a while until we get quite a big base set up. Um, what mods do you guys want to see me use on this? I'll probably plan to use the automated um, uh, cargo manager, that kind of thing, so that I can store stuff and move ores into... Uh, the refinery, use the refinery manager script, all that kind of stuff that I used in the previous season. Um, but we need to figure out kind of like what 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 is our aim? We can have an earth base and we'll use that to, you know, maybe as our refinery system. So we'll have a you know our crafting and our refining on there. 
And we have to decide why do we want to go to the moon, other than it'll look cool and to explore it, right? And maybe uh, land a buggy and a lander on there and, and drive around a little bit. But why else would we want to go to the moon? There's no, there's no, no, no new ores there. So it's not like we need to go there for any reason. So we can say, you know, we want to build a specific thing there. Or we want to accomplish some kind of goal there. So what do you guys think? Why, why should we go to the moon? Why should we go to Mars? Why should we go to the alien planet? That one's kind of easy because we want to kill some aliens. But <laughs> yeah, so I, I, I'm anxious to hear update from you guys. All right, that's probably enough nil, uh, nickel for an air silicon. What, what are we mining? Silicon, okay. <laughs> for now, um, if for some reason... Oh, don't hit me. Nope, stop hitting me, boulder. I'm trying to get out of here. If for some reason we need to come back, we'll just mark it as a G with a GPS coordinate and uh, come right back and and, uh, and get more. Or we'll use our mining ship once we've built that. Alright, come on, let's get out of here. Okay made it out of our that hole so magnesium let's do the, the GPS thing right now so new this was magnesium uranium and silicone there we go sweet and I'm gonna go ahead and just turn that coordinate off right now so it's not showing up in my HUD perfect drop off the silicon we got a ton of silicon, wow. All right, let's just, whoa, don't go in there. Don't go in that hole. Bad machine. Yeah, drive backwards. <laughs> it is dark, um, so let's just drive around a little bit more, see if we see any more ores in this patch. And if not, I'll go ahead and drive home, and uh, we can um, cut back in when it's daytime again and figure out what the rest of this episode will be. So be right back, guys. Alrighty guys, we're back, and I've decided what I would like to do today. I would like to make a garage for my buggy. So here's kind of the layout I've done. I used the area where we built him because it already had a deformation in the, the ice that I want to cover up. So I built a little platform here. I'm using these um, two by one ramps um, that look like this. So they only go down half a, half a slope. The slope is a lot shorter, and he drives up those really well. And he's about three blocks wide, so I went kind of five blocks to give myself plenty of room to move around. And he's just under two blocks tall, so I think I can go with either two or three blocks there, and we should be good. The other thing I need to do is add the connector to him so that he can actually connect to the wall. Now what I'm worried about is this connector is a little bit up, right? But it's not necessarily, I don't know. Like, if we put a block here, you can see it's it's not going to line up exactly with a connector. <laughs> so I don't know what's going to happen. I'm going to save, but we're going to put a connector here as well. So I think putting the connector along the back wall, that way I have plenty of room to drive him in, and I could put, like, a door there to close. So I think, yeah, let's put this connector right here, and then we'll have plenty of room to run piping behind it. All right, is this the way this is supposed to go? Yeah, it has to go vertical like that. All right, so go ahead and fill this guy in with whatever he needs. I should have a bunch of stuff left over in here. Yep, I do. Hopefully that's enough to fill him. Missing some computers, okay. Go finish the computers, uh, get that guy, make a save, and see what happens when we back him in there. <laughs> It might just, like, completely destroy the thing. Or it might just work. Alright, so save. Let's save as... Uh, garage. I, I save so many different save files just so I can revert if anything goes wrong. Because so many times it does. Alright, here we go. Hop on in. Come on. Get our better view here. Back it up. Oh, parking brake off. And let's see. We didn't make a good connection there. Let's try and scoot over a little bit. It's not like a um, a flying ship where you can just kind of to scoot yourself. I've got to drive. I'm going to line it up much better here. Oops. Ah, oh, that was horrible. Let's try that again. 
Ah, shoot. Don't, don't. Go slow. Go, go really slow. No. <laughs> it does the opposite of what I say to do. All right, let's just start way down here. This... <laughs> Bugging me. It's really bugging me. Just randomly just switches direction of the wheels, and now it's even worse. Alright, this might not be as easy as I thought it would. I wonder if we can hook up an autopilot, and the autopilot would figure out how to drive the stupid thing there. Probably not, if it can't get side... Oh, goodness. Maybe I need to build these these little ramps further out. They have to be lined up this way. Okay, we might have it. We might have it. Back up, back up, turn. Okay, I think we're locked. And let's hit G. I'm going to get uh, the connector here. We'll have one for a lock. Oops, let's do a toggle. And then another one for on off. All right, there we go. So, three locked. We are locked. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sweet! So now we should be seeing our battery recharge um, from our base. I think that was a message it was telling us that we were low. That's fine. Okay, so let's hit K. Look at we've got all of the rest of the ship and we'll look at our battery. It is now charging up. It's going to be charged in five hours. Oh, sweet. Current input 165 kilowatts. Awesome! Well, that is brilliant. So we definitely know we can connect to the ship, and uh, we've got a big enough garage for it. So let's let's start building what we want this thing to look like. I think what I would like is I'm going to have these struts coming up every other block. So I need to get you again. And how did I orange you last time? Probably like... that <laughs> these ones are even more difficult to orient all right and then another one like that now i just need to flip you over perfect nope not nope bad and then we need the little ones the skinny ones are on seven perfect and next we'll come up on top we've got to flip those over is that correct? No, that's not. There we go. One there, one there. Now we need the fat ones again. <laughs> there we go. Cool. So those will look like that. And then we will put... Uh, windows here sticking up because it'll be it'll go right along that straight line so gee what kind of windows do we have we've got a window two by one flat i think that's the one i want to look at let's see how it looks okay i need to orientate it over here where i can actually see what this thing is doing There we go, just like that. All right, and that's gonna take bulletproof glass and girders. Okay, I can do that. I think I've got some girders, like a thousand of them. <laughs> just not on me. Oh, we only have 130 girders. Okay, that's not bad. And bulletproof glass. Right there. Let's go put this window on and see how it looks. Okay, time to weld. Nice. I like it. Oh, jump, jump and weld. Let's do jump welds. I'll have to paint it later. Sweet. And then we'll get these guys. I might want to put the, uh, the slanted blocks underneath. Yeah, they only take 19 steel plates. Actually, that wasn't even the right one. How can I aim at you? I know you're in the ground. There you are. Yeah, 19. 
So let's try that. Is this glass going to fall off? No, I think it's fine. So I'm going to get you out and figure out how to orientate you again. Oh, these are so painful. Okay. Let me just throw that there. And of course, I should have grind grinded them both down first because now I have to <laughs> orientate. I wish it re would remember your last known orientation. Just so it rem would remember it when you did that kind of thing. But yeah, that looks good. Okay, well that's the general look of the garage. I'm not sure what I want to do for the roof yet. But we now have a very good looking wall. It's got depth, it's got windows. It's, yeah, looking beautiful. Oh, I don't, hmm, that's a thing. If I want to put a door on here, I can't have this be slanted. So this one here It'll be slant on... Oh, no. It fell. <laughs> Gotta put that on again. But we'll have a straight block here. Perfect. Okay. Try this one more time. Seven. And six. Wow, I'm having horrible luck with... This block is like the most difficult one for me to understand how it rotates. Okay, that's... Nope. There we go. I swear, most of the other blocks I've figured out. <laughs> that that one is just is weird. Something about it. It's different. Yeah, but I'm really happy about my... Uh, my charging system now. Um, is it, it's probably going to suck all the battery out of this guy, isn't it? <laughs> is this guy supplying battery to this to my truck right now? Let's look. <clears throat> current input zero watts. Current output four. And this battery current output. Okay. Yeah. So I guess it's not sucking from that battery. That battery is not set to fill this battery. That's fine. That's good. It just means uh, I have to park this thing during the day to charge it, which is great. So the next thing we'll worry about is doing some kind of um, connector uh, conveyor belt all the way somehow from this guy to wherever we want to go. But yeah, um, that's that's pretty much it for this episode. I guess I've got a little bit of time. Why don't I finish the rest of the walls of the garage and then show you the completed product and then we'll end. So be right back, guys. Okay, guys, I'm getting a little bit further on this, but I've decided I think what I'd rather do is go ahead and end the episode here, and um, we'll go ahead and make the building of this a time lapse that I'll do in a second episode. So we're going to have a double episode day, so don't worry if this one was a little bit short, but I'm going to break up the actual, um, you know, let's play with the building so that if you don't want to you know, waste time watching me build stuff um, and weld and forever, <laughs> that um, you don't have to watch it, but if you do uh, want to see how I build and what uh, my processes then you can watch the time lapse so uh yeah thanks for watching hit that like button if you liked it subscribe to see more and i'll see you in the next episode catch you guys later bye